So, uh, so this is what I do. I run three companies, two of which were mentioned in the last one's a web publishing company. I'm married and I have a fabulous four-year-old. And for those of you who haven't seen his picture yet, you'll have to, you'll have to come look on my iPhone later on. He's so cute. Anyway, um, I'm a social media freak. I co-founded Social Media Club in Victoria. I blog daily somewhere or other. I'm a contributing author to an upcoming book on Facebook I'd love to tell you all about, but I can't because of the non-disclosure agreement. Um, I speak at different events and offer workshops, and uh, because I'm not a busy guy at all, I decided, hey, I'm going to organize a work camp in Victoria. Um, work camp in Victoria, that's a fabulous idea. This was when Brad Pitt called me up. <laughs> and for those of you who can, who can name this movie? Anyone? Uh, oh, yeah. There you go. Terrible. So, how, so, I, so, so the first question was how do we promote? Actually, the first question is was do do we want to have a work camp in Victoria? I was I was at one in Surrey when I put this out on 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 Twitter to what was then a pretty small network and uh, Jody knows and uh, Cindy and I think Janice responded. They said yes. Yes, so while I was sitting there in Surrey, I registered the domain name and set up a meetup account. I was already busy doing it. I'm like, this is going to be awesome. And that's the kind of crazy ADHD sort of geek I am. So there we go. How do I promote it? So having done a few of these now, where I, you know, social media club, work camp, I can tell you there's some best practices. And the reason I can tell you there's best practices is because I did not follow them myself. <laughs> so, so here's what you need to do. If you're going to do this absolutely the, the quote unquote correct method, which Rod, you know all about that. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so first of all, ask yourself, do we need a blog or a website, Facebook page and event, LinkedIn event, Twitter account, and then drag your friends in and then tweet, retweet. So I've, and I've done these specific slides here. So does the event need its own blog? Um, is this uh, something that's appropriate to run through your company blog or through your existing social media? And, and you know, um, if, and, and the answer I think most of the time is yes. If you're going to bother organizing what's going to be a cool big event, then you should, then you should ha it should have its own identity separate, but you know, perhaps adjacent to the brand identity for your, for your company. Um, so set up a, set up a WordPress.com, a free blog. It takes three minutes to set it up. The, the, the great thing about that is then, as, as most of you, uh, I don't know if you've, heard, if you've heard before, but the only social media you own is what you publish on your own blog, right? Uh, if it's on Facebook, it's, it's there, it technically belongs to you, but that could change tomorrow. Same with Twitter. These are all third-party tools. You want to own your social media, get your own URL, set up, sort of set up WordPress and run it yourself. Uh, especially if you think it might be a recurring event. And with, with WordCamp, I thought, wow, this could be really cool. I'll get 20 of my friends together and we'll have an awesome time. And maybe we'll run another one later on. So I got all excited about it. Uh, <laughs> use use SpeedBurner to burn your RSS. This allows you to enable email subscriptions to your blog. I don't know, how many people have used SpeedBurner here? All right. So SpeedBurner, just SpeedBurner.com. You go there, you, you put in your, you, your RSS feed from your blog. And, it, and it, it doesn't burn it, there's no fire on the screen. But what it does is it, is, it, is it enables a whole ton of tools that you can then do, use, your, use your feed for. So you can, um, people can subscribe through it, um, people can, can receive your feed via email, uh, can auto post to Twitter, uh, a whole bunch of other tools I'm sure. I'm sure Ross can tell you about a hundred things you can do with FeedBurner as well. Um, it's, it's just a, it, an awesome tool. So, so there's two things. Set up a blog, burn the feed. And I'm doing this sort of in order. Um, if, it's, if this is an event you're going to charge money for, first thing you got to do is what corporate entity is running this event? Is, if you're running it as you, then you got to think of any personal tax, you know, um, liability and stuff, because it becomes essentially uh, sole proprietorship at that point. So you, you got to keep proper books, just like you would with any business reported at the end of the year, uh, or do like I do and just run the events through through your company account. Um, but you know, still still a good idea to keep separate records. Set up an event at an online event registration service. Uh, I use Eventbrite, which is uh, which we used for 
Uh, no. Just a little. No. What was it again? Uh, oh, they, when we had the pay, so the, we had to, we had, for one of the social media clubs, we had to charge. That was for the uh, Christmas one. For the Christmas, Christmas social media club, yeah. And Eventbrite was very good. Meetup.com is excellent if it's a paid recurring event. And, and, and you know, it's a good idea if you're charging money to do these sorts of things rather than asking people to come and pay $10 or $5 at the door, even, because when people pay for something, the chances of them actually going increase by about ninefold. <laughs> you know, people, if, if it's kind of like, yeah, or it'll be like, I mean, let's face it, Facebook is the most passive medium in the world. You can become a fan of anything and forget about it about 13 <laughs> seconds later, right? Um, so, you know, just because someone says they're coming to a, an event on Facebook, don't count on it. So if it's something you're gonna charge for, think about doing this. Um, and yeah, there was another one that um, was used from Twestable, yep. with Twestable as well, and that one worked really well as well. Yep. So customize the landing URL, so so you know by default when you sign up for Eventbrite, you get eventbrite.com slash blah, blah, blah. Um, you can change that to some